Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are having a great day so far. I just finished filming this look for you guys and it's a little bit different than what I normally do because I feel like lately all I've been doing are very neutral looks. I know kind of dramatic too, but just like very neutral colors. So I kind of felt like I wanted to do a look that had a little bit of more color because I know that they are definitely people out there that like to use colors. Um, but I kind of cheated a little bit because I only did it on my lower lash line just to kind of keep it on the safe side. But I am thinking that the next look will definitely be a full out colored look. And I don't know if I'm going to use blue or purple. Probably purple because I feel like purple looks pretty with brown eyes. But for now, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this look. Don't forget to thumbs it up if you do enjoy this video. And I will talk to you guys later. Mwah. Bye guys. guys so I'm just going to start out by priming my lids and the primer that I'm using is from Low Rock and I'm just going to be applying that all over my lid and on my brow bone <music> to fill in my brows I'm using the Anastasia pomade in medium brown and I'm going to be applying that with the Anastasia brow brush in number 12 and I love this brush to fill in my brows <music> So to clean up my brows a little bit, I'm just going to be using this random concealer brush. I'm not even sure what brand it is, but I'm just going to be using a concealer color from this Pixi Neutralizing Cover-Up Kit that I purchased from Target a while back. From the Lorac Pro Palette, I'm going to be grabbing the color Cream and with my Morphe M200 brush, I'm just going to be applying that eyeshadow all over my brow bone and on my lid. With that same Lorac Pro Palette, I'm going to be using the color Taupe and with my Morphe brush M412, I'm going to be applying that color on my crease area. From that same Lorac Pro Palette, I'm going to be grabbing the white eyeshadow and I'm going to make sure that I apply this color only to my lid area. I do not want it to pass my crease and I'm just going to be applying that color with my Morphe brush in M210. From that same Lorac Pro Palette, I'm going to grab the darkest color, which is the black shade. And with my Sigma E65 brush, I'm just going to make sure that I apply that only to my crease area. With my Morphe M151 brush, I'm just going to be blending out that black shade a little bit.
again with the Sigma E65 brush, I'm just going to reapply some of that black eyeshadow. Again with the Morphe M151 brush, I'm just going to be blending out that black eyeshadow. Now on to foundation. The one that I'm using today is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in shade W4 and I'm going to be applying my foundation with my Sigma F80 brush. I just purchased this foundation about two or three weeks ago and I've used it a couple of times and I still don't know what I think of it. I know that I don't love it but I don't hate it either so I just have to keep trying it out to see what I think of it. I did apply my liquid liner off camera just because it is so hard for me to film that. Every time I try to film it, I'm always out of focus or not on camera. So I just decided to do it off camera. But because I did apply my liquid liner, I wanted to go back in and apply some of that black eyeshadow from the Lorac Pro palette onto my crease area just to intensify the look a little bit more. And to apply it, I used my Sigma E30 brush. The mascara that I'm using is from CoverGirl and it is the Lash Blast Fusion Mascara. Okay, now on to concealer. I'm actually going to be using two concealers and the first one is the Milani HD Concealer in shade 01. And the other concealer is from Maybelline and it is their Dream Lu Lumi Highlighter Concealer. And I just have to be honest with you guys, I hate the way my concealer came out. The lights do make it look whiter than what it really is, but just anyways without the lights that i'm using for filming it just came out way too white so i definitely don't like the way my concealer came out for this video i'm just going to be blending out my concealer with this sephora airbrush concealer brush to blend it out a little bit more i'm using my sigma f86 brush The liner that I'm using is the L'Oreal Extra Intense Eyeliner. From the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette, I grabbed the color Damaged and I'm just applying it on my lower lash line and I'm using the Sigma E30 brush. From that same Urban Decay Vice 2 palette, I'm grabbing the color Dope and with my Morphe M562 brush, I'm just applying it onto my tear duct. Body, I can with a clean MAC 224 brush, I'm just going to be blending out the colors on my crease. Feel anything you give, even if mountains are moving. Now I'm just applying some of the CoverGirl mascara on my lower lashes. 
The powder that I'm using to set my concealer is from Remo and it is their Stay Matte Powder. To bronze up my face a little bit, I'm going to be using the Remo Bronzer in shade 022. To contour just a little bit, I'm using my Milani bronzer and it is in shade 02 medium. And to apply it, I'm using my MAC blush brush. The blush that I'm using is from MAC and it's called Gingerly and I'm applying it with my Morphe M104 brush. Now I just grabbed my Real Techniques Dual Fiber Face Brush and I'm just going to be using it to blend out my blush and my contour. I'm going to be using two lip liners. The first one is from NYX and it's called Pale Pink. The next liner is from Remo and it is in the color Addiction. Right over that, I'm just going to be applying this Revlon lipstick in shade Almost Nude, and that is it. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you did, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Watch me.